you ever have that problem where you're reading something on your phone and there's some text you want to clip or maybe the URL that you're reading and then you want to have it on your computer? Well, there's an app for that, of course. It's called ClipSync, or at least that's one of the apps that I know. Uh, I like the idea of ClipSync because it doesn't sync your clip with the cloud. Because when it's in the cloud, you have no idea who else is reading it. This one just syncs with your computer right on your own network. So that's good. What's not so good is it's Windows only. And I, I don't use Windows. I use Ubuntu, a, a flavor of Linux. And this ClipSync thing is over two years old now. I found it about two years ago when I was using my uh, the tablet I dropped in the bathtub. I was uh, I had ClipSync on there, and I was uh, hoping to get it working on on uh, Linux. And I was actually writing something to get it to work on Linux, but the website kept saying, "Oh yeah, well I'm working on a Linux version and uh, a Mac version," and so I didn't bother. Two years on and nothing's happened. I wrote an email to the guy and uh, didn't get a reply. I said, well, I'll reverse engineer it then. So I used uh, used a couple of tools. Wireshark is excellent if you ever need to capture your um, packets. And um, sat down and wrote a version in Tickle, which worked pretty well. But I thought Python would be more, uh, what, transferable? Well, Python had some features that made it work better anyway. Um, the version that I've got right now is kind of eh, but it functions and you know once you get something working it's really hard to go to that next step and make it perfect because it works. So um, I thought it's useful to me, I might as well put it out there on the uh, World Wide Web so other people can go and fix it. So uh, I'll put it up on my website fluffymcdeath.com and you can poke around there if you're interested in doing clip sync in Python on Linux or it'll work on Windows too if you've got Python on Windows I think I haven't tried it should work on Mac as well if you've got Python installed on your Mac hmm. anyway that's that <laughs>